All right, this is for November 25 Echo Golf, and we're just going to uh, right now. We just got battery on, APU running, so we're going to start from a uh, avionics off cockpit, and we'll work through our way through the transponders and just show you what to expect. So, uh, go ahead and let's power up the avionics. So, right off the bat, first thing you're going to notice is you start getting. Uh, a fail for the transponders and see how it'll flash between uh, well I'll take that back okay so uh, there's two type of failures you have a uh, transponder failure and then you'll have an ADSB failure that'll indicate on here so this one actually came up really really fast because the Gulfstream it takes a few minutes for it to come up uh, I actually hadn't seen it come up that fast before. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, so that's that's normal. Okay. So, like I say, it normally takes a few minutes for it to come up. Um, and if you flip the transponder one. Okay, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the same thing. All right, so this doesn't mean the transponder is failing. This means the ADS-B is failing. All right, so like I say, it normally takes, you know, the, the book says three to five minutes before the ADS-B to uh, align with the GPS and it gets a good position. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for that right here to, uh, to quit failing. Uh, I guess while we're, we're waiting... Uh, what's well, it's quit but we'll just go ahead it's gonna work uh same way as as uh always standby is standby on is uh for on the ground uh you know so the ground uh, crew can see you altitude in the air so you can report your altitude while you're flying uh, vfr obviously vfr uh and then you got for your tcas modes uh, uh traffic advisory traffic advisory resolution advisory so right now we're just going to go back to on uh, while we're just sitting here on the ground so if you notice it's quit flashing number one go to number two all right so now if you let's go back to number one and i'll show you this is what a, a real tcas failure is going to look like so if we open up the breaker for the transponder number one See how it's a hard fail? It's not flashing between the uh, 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 the uh, squawk code and the fail. If we go to two, it has no effect on number two. So number two is still operational. So go back to number one. Let's push our breaker back in. And we'll give it just a few seconds. All right, so transponder one's back up and running. Same thing for transponder two. Now, if the transponder actually fails, you're gonna get a hard fail, just a fail all the way through. Go to number one, number one is still operational. So let's put that back in. And we'll go back to number two, let you see. So give it a few seconds after you push the breaker in, it'll come back up. All right, so number two is back operational. This is a normal normal operation, TCAS, uh, ADSB is working, transponders are working, uh, no faults. Now, if the ADSB fails, it looks completely different. And if we pull, this is our brand new breaker here, uh, right here, 3 amp. I gotta make a placard for it to say GPS1. Uh, I'll put a sticker on here. But for now, if we pull that breaker, all right, so that, feel, that feeds our uh, GPS unit. You see how how immediately it starts failing and it's flashing the uh, squawk code, but it's also flashing the fail. So that's different between a hard transponder failure. And it's, this is going to happen on both both transponders, one and two. So there's nothing you can do about it. So that's how you know the difference between a ADSB failure and a transponder failure. One a flash between the code and fail, and the other one would just be a hard fail. So now if we push our GPS back in, and we give it a, just a few minutes, 
won't be uh, that long. It'll come back up here. Like I said, that, that first time when it come up and it weren't flashing, that was it was really weird because it normally always takes, you know, two to three minutes for it to come back up, for it to pass. So the GPS, uh, what it has to do is it has to find the uh, master satellite that's in view. And first thing it does is it gets the master time. So that's, that's the time that all the GPS satellites are using. All right, so then it has a GPS almanac that it actually downloads from the satellite. The almanac tells uh, exactly where all the other satellites are in the sky. Uh, so uh, then it knows where to look. Uh, believe it or not, the, the system is, the antennas, uh, they're just not a setting signal. They're actually what they call a, kind of a beam steering. Uh, they're actually looking in a certain direction uh, for the satellite. So if it's, if it's looking in a different direction um, and compared to where the satellite actually is, it could actually call a failure. So we have another airplane. I, I think that might be what it's on. I think that almanac may, may not be right in it. But okay, but as you can see, uh, GPS has came back up now. This would be normal. And this one here is good to go now. Up oh, here. Let's take a walk through the back and check out the uh, the aft equipment. Maybe we could probably go ahead and shut this down. Mm. I'll shut this off. Yeah. Yeah, just going on battery for just a second without the APU running, so you can hear. I'll show you kind of the new component locations for the equipment. So as you can see here, we got two brand new transponders, MST-70Bs here, and a new GPS receiver and a control relay here. So. You hit the test on them. It's kind of hard to see. But green light is good. These other indicators, if there's a failure with the transponder, it'll tell you top antenna, bottom antenna, ADSB, uh, controller, altitude, means it's not getting your uh, air data information. So if you ever have an ADSB failure or a transponder failure, you want to know what's going on, just walk back here to the tail. Push the test, and they'll tell you exactly what's going on. Like I say, you always want to see that green light. That means everything's working normal. All right, so that's it.